Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to give you an update on WordPress 5.8 which is going to be the second major release of the year. It's scheduled to be released the next month, July 20th. And I got to tell you, some of the changes coming are really, really exciting that I just had to make this video to share these updates with you. Now, if you're wondering how I have access to WordPress 5.8 already, it is just a beta version. It's not the full version just yet, but I'm able to demonstrate to you a few of the updates that are coming. So let me quickly walk you through them. So first of all, as you can imagine, there's gonna be more improvements to the Gutenberg page builder, the much aligned uh, block editor. You will have access to new, cool new features like the font size adjustment in more places. Uh, reusable blocks will become a lot easier to use. The blocks in general will become a bit more stable and just overall improvements. You will have a simpler default color palette. And then on the security, there is this new feature where you'll be able to upgrade from HTTP to HTTPS in one single click. I've been unable to test it out. I don't quite know how it works, but I can only imagine that it's going to be a wonderful feature. Maybe once 5.8 is officially released, then I'll be able to show you how it actually works. Plus, you'll also have the ability to laser load your iframes. All good stuff, but now let me show you the three main cool features coming with 5.8. And first of all, if you go to your parents' customized theme, typically you'll get a page like this, right? The new addition with 5.8 now is that you will be able to access the blocks or widgets from Gutenberg directly. So if you go to, let's say, customize the widgets on your footer as an example, you click on plus right here. Now you will have access to all the blocks that you normally would have on your Gutenberg page builder. You can see all of them right here. So this is a really, really awesome feature. And you can now customize your header, customize your footer, customize your sidebar, depending on the thing that you're using directly from your uh, customized page. And I think this is really, really awesome. The next really cool feature is the fact that WordPress 5.8 will now support WebP versions of your images. Now, if you don't know, know if you don't know what WebP is, it's the latest version of images. It's a lot uh, smaller and a lot faster to load than say pings or JPEGs. And it is was built primarily by Google, I believe. Now the thing is before, if you tried uploading WebP images to your media library, WordPress will tell you that, sorry, this particular image file is not supported. But now take a look at this. You can see this image with the dogs, right? You can see right there that it is in fact a WebP uh, image. So WordPress 5.8 now officially supports WebP images. And I'm really, really excited about this. However, there is a downside that you should be aware of. And that's the fact that if the user is using a browser that does not support WebP images, WordPress will not replace that version with a ping version or with a JPEG version. The advantage of using plugins optional like Optimal is that when Optimal detects that the browser this user is using does not support the WebP version of this image, Optimal will actually show the JPEG version of that image. WordPress 5.8 by default cannot do that. So it is not yet a finished feature. So before you ditch Optimal or ditch any other plugin that you're using to convert your images from JPEGs or PINGs to WebP, uh, don't do that yet. Still stick with the plugins for now. Let's wait until WordPress 5.8 is actually also able to detect whether or not the user's browser can support WebP. And if it doesn't, then replace the WebP with the JPEG or PING version of that image. But nevertheless, this is still a step in the right direction. And now the main cool feature that you're going to get with 5.8, let me just show you. I'm going to go ahead now to add a new page. And if you go over to the blocks, you go to browse all, you have access to some new blocks, but these aren't just ordinary blocks. Take a look at this. So on the design, I can now add blocks like the site logo, site tagline, site title, archive title, post categories, and even post tags. But then right here, you now have access to a whole new section called theme. And on the theme, you have the query loop block, post title, post content, post date, and so on. And this is simply amazing. Now, based on the screenshots I saw, there's supposed to be like a new section around here just underneath the status and visibility that would allow you to create a page template and then use these blocks for that page template. I don't see it, but then again, I'm using the beta version. So maybe in the final version, that feature will be there. But nevertheless, 
I wanted to test the query loop block to see if it would actually work with custom post types and it does. Now let me just quickly show you, I have created a custom post type called movies, as you can see, and I also have two movies in there, Die Hard and then Terminator 2. Let me just quickly show you. So right here you can see it's Die Hard, I have the featured image and I have some content right there. So does this actually work? Yes, it does. I'm gonna go ahead now and add the query loop block in here. So when you do that, by default, it's gonna pick your posts first, right? But then right here, if you go over to choose, you click on choose, right now, right here, where you have post type, you can choose the custom post type that you wanna work with. I'm gonna go over with movie, and now you can see it has pulled in die hard. And then right here where you have your display settings, this is where you can choose how many of that particular post you want to display on your page. So I only have two movies, so I'll go with two. And as you can imagine right now, I've got Die Hard, and now I have Terminator 2 uh, showing up right there. So this is really, really cool. You actually have a loop block that can pull in content from your custom post types. So let me just quickly show you uh, some other features. Let me do this. Let me go here, query loop. Okay, so right here, you can also order your post by, you know, newest to oldest, oldest to newest, A to Z, and so on. You can filter also based on the author as well as keywords. Now, I also added a custom field for my movie types uh, called director. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see where you can display custom fields for your custom post types using this block, but I can only imagine that it's just with time. Eventually, we will be able to display custom fields with our custom post types. And these are just the very first steps to Gutenberg and WordPress becoming extremely powerful. Now, me personally, I don't like Gutenberg, but the truth is Gutenberg keeps on improving every single time. And I do believe that, let's say six months from now, the start of January, 2022, I think Gutenberg will become a really powerful page builder. Maybe not as powerful as Elementor or some other page builders out there, but still, powerful enough for people like me to have confidence in using the uh, page builder to build websites. And WordPress as a whole keeps getting better and better, being able to convert your site from HTTP to HTTPS, the ability now to support custom post types and eventually custom fields. We may not need to use plugins anymore like the advanced custom fields or uh, pods or custom post types anymore. So we'll see how it goes. But those are the upcoming changes to WordPress 5.8. I am really excited about them. What about you? Let me know what your comments are. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment to help boost the algorithm for this video. Please, I really need your help to push this video out there on YouTube so that more people will be aware of content like this. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.